So far in our discussion of payroll, we have been working uh, with the payroll register. We can figure out, well, what exactly is our payroll? How much do we owe our employees? How much do we owe the government? How much do our employees owe the government, etc. cetera? Uh, but you may have noticed that this is completely unconnected with the general ledger and the general journal and the accounting cycle and all that stuff that we've talked about previously. And uh, in this next section, we're going to talk about how to make that connection. How do we take this information, all of these numbers on this payroll register, and make journal entries from them? And so we're going to talk about that in this video and the videos that come after it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my general journal. I'll just put this as page one. And this is for March 24. You've seen this is. Uh, and so I'm going to do that as well. And I'm going to go ahead and log the payments uh, that I need to make on here. I've figured out that I have all this stuff that I need to do. And now I need to do it. All right, and now I need to log it in my general journal. So this I'm going to put in the date. And it's going to be March the 24th. And so you'll notice here I have one account. I have some accounts that I'm really very used to. I've got office expense and sales expense. That's stuff that I'm that we I'm completely used to. Those are debit accounts. We'll recognize them for pre previously. They're debit accounts. And but I also have all this other stuff as well. I've got gross earnings, net pay, and deductions. And if I've done everything correctly, these together, you know. Go ahead and put this number in my calculator. Um, these together, you notice I've got the when I select them in Excel, I've got the summary down here. That's what they equal. Um, they should equal this, and in fact, they do. And so, and this is really what we're going to do. We're going to put in all of these things. Um, we're going to put these things as expenses and these things as payable. So let me go ahead and do that at this time. Um, the expenses, uh, let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see both of these just about more or less simultaneously. Um, let me start with, the, uh, start with the debits. We've got office expense, 1485.50. And I've got a sales expense, 109550. Go ahead and set up these columns as well with appropriate zeros. So there's my debits. Now I'm going to do the credit side. Now with these, with my deductions for the federal government, I don't pay these right away. I don't pay my federal income tax just as soon as I get it. Um, I don't pay my employees federal income tax just as soon as I get it. I withhold it and then uh, after a little while, depending on various schedules that the government has, that's when I have to pay it. So now I'm going to I'm going to use an account over here called FIT, which stands for Federal Income Tax Payable. This is an account's payable account. I don't have to pay it immediately, but I know that eventually I owe this money. So 246. And then my guess, state income tax payable. 20648. And then I have FICA OASDI. And I've got I got Medicare payable. Uh, he is thirty seven forty two. And then I've I've even I'm gonna handle my union dues in the same way. 
parking dues payable, $60. And last but not least, I've got wages and salaries payable. I now owe my employees some money. That amount there. So let me double check here. I'm going to notice 2581. Yep. And now on the other side, uh, that's, well, huh, it's a little bit different. I think I missed something somewhere along the line. Let me check. 2046, 2048, 1602, 32, 742, 60, 107, 187107. Let me see. Let me look at this net pay here. There's a rounding thing somewhere. Alright, so somewhere there's a rounding error and so for the purposes of this problem I'm simply going to round up. You can see here I'm um, one penny off. I'm going to make this eight and then side balances with this side. And so I've made this, I've logged what my office expense is, what my sales expense is, and I have done, uh, I have shown who I owe the money to, wages and salaries payable, and various tax agencies, and a union. And so I made my first journal entry for payroll.